Uh, he was the 3rd Infantry Division. He was a company commander. His name was Britt, Footsie Britt, professional football player. I think he played for Washington, from Arkansas, quite a, quite a state figure. And I guess the, even after the war. An 88 shell went through the house where he had his command post. And he had uh, uh, part of a leg, uh, lost part of a leg and lost part of an arm, had a lot of shell fragments and everything else. And when I was uh, wounded and brought back uh, to, the, to the evacuation hospital in, uh, at, at Anzio, they had a tent set up and everything. It was kind of a field, a temporary hospital. We came under fire frequently from the enemy there because we were within range of their artillery. I was on an army cop. Next to me was this Captain Footsie Britt. And the guy was, he was completely out of his mind. And he wanted to die. And he was, uh, he was absolutely demoralized. Uh, he, he was not only wounded, but his spirit and everything else uh, was, was just broken. And this guy was a football player. You know, he was a, really a physical specimen. And uh, a Red Cross nurse was trying to console him and saying, well, uh, look, I'll write to your wife and everything. And he was de almost delirious. And I'm next to him. And uh, get over that quickly and get to the part that I think is, you referred to as being funny. The Germans shelled it while we were there and they hit the tents and he killed a nurse and a Red Cross girl and a doctor. Sirens went off in this tent and the uh, people that were running the thing came over and picked up our cots on each side and flipped us over on the ground and here was this footsie Brit all shot up and he was next to me groaning and so on. Well, when the weather cleared, they put us on a, on a, on a landing ship in the hole in the bottom of a ship. A funny incident was there, but I, I won't go into that. Uh, and uh, uh, took us back to Naples where there was a, a hospital, general hospital. Went back, real beds, real nurses, and so on and so forth. And I'm in a ward, and who's in this ward again? Footsie Brit, Captain Brit. Well, he would kind of recovered from his initial shock, and he had, uh, had contacted his wife, and he, he was uh, married and all. And the nurse would come in, and we were bedridden, and they'd wash us. And they'd lift up our shirt and wash our neck, and then they'd lift up our toes and wash. And they'd come in every day and give us kind of a little bird bath, just partially. Mm. And we wouldn't get out of bed. And one day a nurse came in and told you how he'd recovered and he even got his sense of humor back. And she was washing him and she said, look, nurse, she said, you wash me down as far as possible and then you wash me up as far as possible. When is poor possible going to get washed? <laughs> <laughs>